what is going on everybody today we're looking at the hasbro gi joe classified series has lab his tank so this thing has finally arrived and i am super excited for it from the box here we can see we'll just go and start with looking at the box and what's going to be inside of it so from the front of the box or at least i assume this is the front of the box we have the picture of the his tank there with the 788 tank which looks really awesome love the colors with the all black and red i just think that looks awesome we have what i assume to be our his tank driver over here on the side that automatically came with it and then of course with this we were able to unlock the early bird as well as all four unlocked here so we're going to get a lot of cool accessories and characters with this tank as well so since everything was unlocked in this box we should have the his tank the his driver the early bird his tactician the unlocked tier one sign mounted missile racks the unlocked tier two of retro canopy and tread skirts unlocked tier three of weapon accessories and the his gunner and then the unlock four of the retro carded cobra commander so that's going to be pretty cool with all the different stuff coming with this so as i said this is what i'm going to assume the front of the box on top of the box of course this is a big heavy box so on the top we have Simper Fidelis Cobra or Serpians there which Simper Fidelis just means always faithful so always faithful the Cobra with the cool logo there with the Cobras we have Mars down here at the bottom so military armaments research syndicate so that's Destro's company down there so that's pretty cool and all of this just looks awesome there it looks like maybe if we twist it to the sides we may have some other stuff of course probably can't get it to fit in the camera we have a picture there with our tank driver and the his tank there in the background on this back here we have just this tank which looks pretty cool love that design there with like another one here in the background and on the far side here just another picture of the kiss tank with the driver there so a lot of cool stuff going on here but let's go and open the box and see what's inside so inside the box we have these two brown cardboard boxes and on top of at least this top one here we have the cobra logo and now if we open this inside here let's see yeah we have all of our action figures so of course we have like our instruction booklet we need that and then we have all of our action figures down inside here so we have our four figures so this one's our his tactician which was the early bird I know I can't get it to fit in here and that has like the signature of the guy that designed and stuff so that's pretty cool so we have our his tactician then we have our his driver of course the main figure that came with it so we have that there which looks really cool of course a lot of these are going to look relatively exactly the same then we have our his gunner which I think this may be a female mold so she'll be a little bit different oh and then they probably show you all the accessories and stuff they'll come with on the back and of course right down here we have our retro carded cobra commander which looks really cool so there's our retro carded cobra commander with all his accessories up there in the top and just looks pretty awesome and so this is what they call like the mickey mouse cobra commander so he has like the little mickey mouse looking ears there on the head of the cobra so that looks pretty cool so all of box number one there was just all of our figures oh and in case anyone was wondering on the back of the cobra commander it does have the file card there so you can't even cut that out as well if you want so that looks pretty cool on the back of that so then that means this has all of the his tank itself so probably his tank and all its accessories inside here so yeah opening up it looks like it does have the his tank and its accessories and stuff so i'll have to get that open and get the his tank all put together we'll get all the figures open so we can review those as well so i've just got a lot of work to do with this to get everything open and put together so let me get them out of the box and we'll take a look at it together so here it is out of the box and this thing looks awesome. It is really big, but it's like in theory not as big as I expected it to be. And I think it kind of helps that you know only this back section here is on the ground where the rest of this is up in the air. So you can kind of use this to display like sort of characters and stuff down around it and you know sort of work it out. So it is still a big vehicle. Like it's definitely over a foot long, but it's still not like as big and obtrusive as I thought it would be, which is really nice to, you know, save some space. So it's pretty much back against my table and you can see just how close it is and I'm kind of away from the table as well. So it is a longer vehicle, but like I said, just in theory, not as long as I expected. But overall, I think it looks really cool. So it's this pretty much all black color, has some red details and design, has the 788, the Cobra logo, and we have all these little logos around. I'm not sure what they all do and stuff. So we have like three of 63. We have some different like little number and stuff down here on the bottom, little numbers there. There's like little warnings, which I thought were warnings like, you know, for us, but it's sort of stuff more related to the vehicle about like, before it gets moved or loaded up or anything so just fun little things like that all around for this is pretty cool like i said it's pretty big of course when we bring the characters in you will see how tall and big it is and stuff as we populate it when we put characters into all the different slots so as you see at the bottom we do have these tank treads which do roll of course you have to kind of push down to get them to roll but they do roll back and forth and i think that's pretty cool so we have that function that it does roll back and forth uh from the front up here we do have the canopy that opens it's a little bit difficult to open up and we do have the canopy that can 
came with it or like you know the one designed for it but we do have the retro one we'll put in as well but if you pop the canopy open it then opens up to obviously give you access into the driver's seat which has a lot of cool stuff going on here we have a panel that does light up so that's going to be cool and when i turn the lights on we of course have the driver's seat which has some neat details and we have the seat belt that is pretty cool and we can't actually you know get a character in there and buckle so you just slide them in and the lower section here does slide in and out so it slides out so you can get a character in and then push it back once it's in and buckle up and everything so it has a nice cobra logo on the back and nice like detailing on the seat itself over here may be hard to see but we do have like a joystick control and on this side we have like a shifter lever so you can like shift back and forth which is pretty cool with all sorts of little buttons and everything going on there so that's pretty fun design wise and then we have that canopy like i said the one that came with it which does have like the butterfly canopy parts on it so the sides or the red sections of it do fold up there so you can sort of have them open so it's you know like an open window or whatever or you can close them down and i like the design with this like with all the like little like rivet designs or whatever that's running all the way through it adds some nice texture and detail now the only issue i really have with this is that when you close it all the way down and like get it back down into normal and like all fastened down they don't fully close they sort of sit open a little bit which there are these little notches on the side here that are supposed to help hold it but sometimes they don't hold too well but like i said currently it looks like it's sitting all perfectly but if you move it a little bit they'll sort of pop up and leave some gaps so that's a little bit of an issue you have to worry about but it's nothing major but of course we can always just switch it to the other canopy if we want but then going back from there we do have a ladder so we have a little ladder that does fold down so you can have it fold down there so you know characters can easily climb up and get into the tank itself which is cool before we go up to the top we'll go down here there is a little section down here that i think is pretty neat design wise to me like when i first saw this i'm like oh it's like a little fuel cap thing that you can open up but this is actually a piece for some of the accessories that it came with some of the unlocks so i like that design there is one on each side for this you open up you know attach the thing in and it sticks off the side but i like how it just being there like i said almost reminds me of like a fuel cap so that's pretty cool then we go to the back door so back here and there are working lights all over this so of course i think when i open this door you'll see some of it so we have the back door with the cobra logo on the back and i love sort of like the like little caution designs into it as well we have a little section you know for characters to stand on back here i would really like if this had some feet pegs on it so you could put characters you know on the feet pegs because we'll probably want to put characters on it and then holding on to the bars up here to just be riding on the back and then down below that as well we do also have a tow hook that does fold out so it folds out and has a little tow section so hopefully maybe they'll someday make a little trailer that can hook on there and his tank can tow it along that would be pretty cool but that's really all that it is back there until we open it up which like i said you will see lights with this so it does open open up and their light should be on it's going to be hard to see i can kind of see some of the redness here so there is a red light that when you open the back door it automatically turns on so as you see as i close it it shuts off so it's kind of cool that it only turns on when it's open so it'll light up our area there and we'll look at that but again with this back door if you have this piece down it will just kind of sit there flat like that but if you fold it up it will then completely ramp down so it gives you a nice ramp all the way down that you can then close back up of course every time i close it back up the tow hook's always sticking out automatically so that's just a little bit of weird design but on the inside as you kind of saw there we do have a chair so we do have a chair over to this side that again has like a cobra logo design built into the chair i think that's pretty neat so nice see with red and all that stuff there now in the instructions it shows it can move which the chair does lift up and down but it looks like you can almost take it out or something but I can't do anything but get it to slide up and down. And then we do also have a weapons rack on the other side. So with all our characters we're going to get, we do have slots here to put all their, I want to say, extra weapons. So that'll be cool to do. And then, of course, in the very front here, we then have the section for our characters to stand up in the top turret. So if we look up at the top turret, it doesn't really do much, especially in this form. We don't have any of the guns on it. But you can just sit a character down in here, and it does rotate side to side. Now, this does rotate and come completely out if you want it. I'm not exactly sure of the whole function of it because it kind of, like, slides into a slot. And so, like, as I'm turning here, it starts to get pretty tough to turn. And then same when you start going this way. So it just turns a little bit side to side. And as I said, you can set a character down inside there. So we will have to do that when we get to our characters. And then another, we have the little, like, like I said, the little gas thing that can put in our extra accessory and then a ladder on this side as well and that's really all there is for this now there is the light function which unfortunately i'm not going to be able to show you how they work but there is a button here on the front in this under section so every time i usually pick this up i end up hitting it so there's a button right here that we can push on and it'll turn some lights on so with that these front lights came on usually there's all sorts of lights so these front lights on here in red came on and then in the cockpit lights did turn on as well again it's going to be hard to see there i open the canopy 
and you should be able to see uh, the panels on there now. So that's pretty cool. So that's with one push. I think there's like eight total. And every time you push, it just kind of switches out what's going off and on. So I hit it again. And I think, yeah, that time again, it's going to be hard to see. <laughs> I can't really show you, but there is a Cobra on the ground. So you can kind of see some of the light here. So there is a Cobra projection. Hopefully I don't blind you showing this in the camera. There is a Cobra projection here that sort of shines out onto the ground. So that turns on as well as still with the red lights there and the red inside the control panel. And if you push it again, I think, yeah, the Cobra is still there. So it's shining on my hand. Then we get like headlights on here. So that's pretty cool. And then I think also, yeah, there are some brake lights on the back as well. So these lights on the back here do turn on as well. And I just clicked in and I believe that time these lower lights came on. So just these lights appear on before and now these lower ones are on as well. And if I push it again, it turned off the Cobra logo, but it looks like every other light's still on. Press it again so that like headlights turned off that time. Then we got the lower lights turned off. And with that, it looks like the cab lights turned off. So the lights here are no longer on. And then finally the main lights there shut off. So that's all the different functions. So like not a whole lot to it, you know, just different light settings. Obviously we won't be using that for much of anything. We'll probably after this review, just take the batteries out so they don't corrode or anything because we don't need the lights on. But it's just cool, it has that function, especially I love like the Cobra shine down. So if it was a lot darker here, you'd be seeing that Cobra projected on the table. I love like the headlights, the lights inside the cab. Of course, it's cool to have when you open up the door in the back, those lights turn on. That is always really cool. So it gives you light to see in there. So I like that a lot. But then we start to get our extra accessories that we got through the unlocks and everything. Again, this is just the base model of the His Tank. But as I've mentioned multiple times, we do get like retro things for it. So we do have these tread plates, or I don't really know exactly what they're called. Tread skirts, I guess they are. So we can pop the ones that are on here and pop these on and see what that looks like. So this is what the wheels and tread look like without it. And then we can pop this one on. So there's the new tread skirt on. So it just takes up a lot less space. I do like this other design because, you know, I love like the caution design and the little red on here. And it fills up a lot more of this space. So that one I'll probably be keeping on. But I do like this. Again, it's supposed to be more classic. So I don't know based off the old toys or just from the old shows or whatever it has this and it's labeled as retro so we have one of those for each side and then we do also have the classic canopy or the retro canopy I guess so this is just an all clear plate window so you can see a little bit better with that and we can switch this out so obviously at the top here it's just a little hinge thing like we get with all sorts of plastic toys so you just have to kind of pop it in there and then it'll pop in the front there so there we have an all clear window now so that's pretty nice as well I do like that design I like this a little bit more just because I like this design but I think I'd like it a little bit more if it was all in black instead of this red. I mean, the red does make it pop and stand out, you know, kind of goes with the tank, sort of separates all the black. But I think having that in black would be really cool. But having the clear window there as well, obviously you can't like do the flaps and stuff, but I still think it's pretty cool and you can see pretty well in there. So I do like that. So that's always a possible option. So that was it for our retro pieces. And then we get some weaponry to put on the his tank. So we get a big gun to put on with the turret. Now there's different names. I've written the stuff down, but I've completely forgotten which is which but we do have this big gun that we can mount onto the turret here so it has the two pegs here that go into the two holes here so we can slide this in now i do before i want to attach it there's this big like guard piece here with the cobra logo on it that i think is cool which is an extra piece and you can pop that off and then just have this version which has the red cobra logo which i think is pretty cool so you have either options you can pop this on or leave it off i kind of like it off more because i like the red cobra on it but just for this we'll go ahead and pop the guard on just you know like it protects the person standing behind it and then there's a little like control here you know be able to like twist side to side and fire and stuff so we can mount this up here so that's mounted in the turret so like i said once we put our character up here they can be controlling the turret and also on the side of the turret we have two more sections here so we get these guns that look like you know like 50 cal guns or some sort of gatling gun type design that look pretty cool that are on these mounts that can move back and forth and when on the thing it can twist side to side stuff so those look pretty cool as well so we can mount these up here so now definitely anybody that's up in this turret is well protected with the big gun up front and then these smaller guns on the side so they can just sort of sit there and mow all the joes down as they go along then on the front of the tank we do get a gun that mounts in the bottom so we have this little section which has a weird thing that you actually like of course sort of push on which is kind of weird but we have this dual gun as well with nice cobra logo and all sorts of nice designs there that we can take and put into that so it just mounts on the front there and sort of hangs down the front can twist side to side and then it has a rock back and forth so obviously you can shoot lower down shoot up if it wants so that's pretty cool so we have that gun mounted on the front of the tank and our final extra accessory 
accessories which were an unlocked here is we get these missiles on these rack things which look pretty cool so we have these six missiles on a rack and we have one for each side and this is what goes into the section that I called like the gas cap here so you flip that up and then you can push this into the side and it sort of just mounts on the side of the tank there like that and what's cool is that it does also have this telescoping thing so it can slide out a little more and then there is rotation to it as well so you can sort of rotate it around so if you want to have it pointed up in the air pointed down to shoot all these missiles off and the missiles just sort of sit on pegs so it means they fall off pretty easily which I don't like that as much they just sort of sit on pegs designed like this so I don't like that because you don't know how many times I've already knocked these off and they move around pretty easily so that's annoying but we do get a set for each side of the tank that we'll put on so with that we have the missiles now on each side of the tank and that pretty much gives us our tank fully kitted out now so it has all the guns and accessories and everything on it which is really cool so it's fully kitted now ready to take on the Joes and of course and when we get that GI Joe helicopter coming we can have the helicopter against the his tank which will be really cool but yeah this thing just looks awesome I love this design love all the weapon accessories it's definitely kitted out for war now and ready to take on some Joes and now that we have the his tank and everything with it we can bring in our characters that it came with so of course we had our first character that came with it automatically which was the his tank driver which are the tank operators taken from the pool of the strongest cobra officers and overall i think it looks pretty cool like the design with mostly all red love the like silver visor and all black covering the mouth we have the chest plate on then blue which i like that you know stands out quite a bit with the silver cobra on it again all red bodysuit everywhere else but i like how he has like this little black designs on his hands and over here he has like a control pad which looks pretty awesome with all sorts of stuff there on his forearm then going down on his legs you can see the top of his legs that still have the red but then it transitions to these like big armored boots that have these like nice design we've not really seen on these on any of the joes so far so that just looks pretty cool all the way around and we're going to see this design pretty similar between our other characters we have the tactician and then the gunner which is just a female version of this but overall i think he looks cool but we'll go and just do the movements on him so the head will twist all the way around he can look down that far and up that far so somewhat decent movements there then we go to the shoulders that do come up to 90 and have the butterfly fly joint back and forth and of course it can rotate around we get the bicep twist all the way around and the double elbow joint that does bend up that far so pretty close with the wrist that'll twist around and hinge up and down for this hand specifically but he, of course has this big piece on his arm so not a whole lot of range in there then we go to the ab crunch you can see it cut out right under there so under the chest please so you can crunch back and forth and then at the waist crunch and twist all the way around then we go to the hips that come up to 90 and out to the side we have a thigh twist that does twist all the way around the double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back almost kicking his butt now what's weird is we do have a ankle twist here so we have a twist all the way around here that can twist around so that's a new joint and then of course the foot can rock back and forth and twist side to side so i just want to show that because our tactician will have this exact same movements and then the female will be just like this just obviously with the female body so a little bit different but relatively the same now accessory wise again a lot of these will come with the exact same things so what's really cool with these which is something new i don't Know what they're supposed to be or anything but they come with these gloves so almost like these big like punching gloves i assume they're like extra like armored sort of glove designs so he has a set of them and like i said pretty much all these characters do so i think they look really cool and you just put them in place of the hands so we can pop the hand out and you just pop them in place of the hands so now they have these big gloves like i said almost like punching gloves so not really sure what they're useful for or anything but they look pretty cool i like the design and stuff just like i said don't know what they're useful for but it's just cool that they comes with a set for each hand but then we do get some some actual weapons first he comes with a pistol and again we'll see pretty much these same things with all of them so we get an all black pistol we can obviously put this into his hands but we'll go ahead and just put it down in the holster for now so he'll store in his holster there on his thigh and then again they all will come with pretty much this exact same weapon which is just some sort of gun with this blade on the end of it it looks really cool it's just this is all in black has you know like some sort of stock there on the back of course a magazine that does come out so like this big magazine and that silver blade there on the end which looks pretty cool so obviously we can put these into his hands but since we are going to put in our characters into the tank we won't give them any weapons right now but we will be able to store this on the weapons rack which is cool so overall i think the driver is really cool like obviously i don't really care too much what he looks like he just got to be able to go into the driver's seat and fit in there and all that stuff so as long as he does that that's all i really care about so didn't care if he came with the extra accessories or not but it is cool that it at least can him out obviously so if anything happens to the tank he can get out and still fight in the war but overall i think he looks pretty nice and since i mentioned multiple times already we'll go ahead and bring in the his tactician which again was another unlocker this was our early bird version and as i've said it's going to be the exact same figure just with this was one where it was a fan vote and so the fans got to choose what color it was and they ended up 
up with this, which I believe was the Bravo version like that they named it, which is mostly all this black or dark gray with the red design. So it kind of fits pretty well with the His Tank. There were all sorts of designs, you know, blues and purples and everything. But this one was chosen. I think it's pretty good because like I said, it matches the His Tank pretty well. So I think overall it works out. And like I said, body wise and everything, it's going to be exactly the same, just in different colors. And he's going to come with the exact same accessories as well. We get the fisted hands or gloved hands, whatever, just in reverse this time where they have red on the outside, black on the inside. We get his pistol as well. Again, same pistol, just has this red design on top. So we'll put this into his holster. So it sits in his thigh there. And then he comes with the exact same gun, just obviously with the red design this time. So that is pretty cool as well. And again, we'll have to put that on the weapons rack. And then that finally gives us our his tank gunner, which is going to look exactly like the driver, just obviously has the female body this time. And we'll have all the same female joints. So you can see she has the double elbows and everything. So it has a little, little bit better joints with the pinless joints. So she'll work out pretty well. But design wise and everything else about her is going to be exactly like the driver, just obviously having the female form. But what's cool about her, she comes with some extra accessories. So she's going to have the same things first. So we get the extra hands. So we have the small female hands with like the boxing glove designs. She comes with the exact same pistol. So we can put this into her thigh holster. So that's on the side of her there. And then she comes with the exact same gun once again as the driver. So all those same weapons. But then she comes with some extra stuff for some reason. I mean, it's cool she has it and we can give them to other characters. But she comes with this shotgun, like this auto feed shotgun or whatever it is. So it has this drum with the shells in it and it looks pretty cool overall. So again, just another extra gun to go along with the characters. And again, cool this with the magazine design so that we can put on our weapons rack. And then she even comes with more stuff with this like shovel and the hammer. I don't really know what these things would be called, but we get this cool shovel. It's a nice like long standard side shovel instead of like the little small ones we've seen before. And then this hammer with like the hammer design on one with the spikes and then this pickaxe or whatever on the other side looks really cool as well. So we get these two weapons along with her, which is really cool. And again, these will fit on the weapons rack as well. So now that we have all three of these characters, we can go ahead and put them into the tank itself. So we can take our his tank driver and stick him down in here. So you have to undo the belt buckle to get him into it. And you just slide his legs down under. I know you can't really see down inside here and I can't really get the camera to look any better since I've got to be able to get my hands here and then to go this over the top of him. So it'll buckle him in and you just got to make sure he's down in there. I don't really know what's going on with the legs. You just got to make sure he's back in there as far as he'll go and get the shoulder straps pulled down. And then we can buckle it into the bottom section here. And as I said, the buckle has a thing where it like slides back and forth. So there we have the his tank driver all buckled into the seats and obviously we can work around and get his hands on some of the controls and stuff to be able to drive it around so that all works out pretty good he is now all buckled in there and then we can take our his tank gunner and put her up into the turret here now unfortunately i don't know if it's just because she's so small but like putting her in obviously she can't see over the guard here so i don't know how she'd be able to really fire the turret off or anything because like i said she can't really see over it and it didn't look like there's any sort of computer system in there but obviously we can put her in there and put her hand on this little control that I showed you earlier to have her being able to control the gun up there but at least we have her up to hop there and finally in the back here we can open up the back compartment and then take our tactician and just sort of sit him in here on the chair again I don't really know how you really get him on there I don't know if that's what it means the chair lifts up so you can sort of lift it up to actually get him to be able to sit in the seat of course I wish you could like buckle him in just so he stays a little more secure but we can have him there and then of course we can take our weapons and put them on the weapons rack on this side and with that, all the weapons are now stored in there. I know you probably can't see it too well and with the red lights probably not helping, but all the weapons are now stored on there. So the only thing we have left are all the additional little hands, which obviously we just kind of throw in there if we want. But we now have all of our characters into the His Tank, which is really cool. So it's all kitted out with now all the weapons, all the characters, all that is really cool. So it just looks awesome. But finally, also with this tank, we got the Cobra Commander. So we have like this classic design on the retro card of Cobra Commander. So this is probably the most retro version of Cobra Commander we will get and I think he looks awesome in the all blue suit. He has like the more classic helmet design with the all silver visor. He has the red Cobra logo on his chest with what they call like the Mickey Mouse ear design but that all looks cool with the red stripe running down his leg. Just all of it looks really cool for this figure. Now I would like to review this so let's go and do the movements so the head can twist all the way around. Look down that far and up that far so again about the same head movements as the other characters. Shoulders can come up a little bit stiff but to 90 there with the butterfly joint back and forth. Fourth, 
and it can rotate all the way around. We got the bicep twist that'll twist all the way around and the double elbow joint that's a little bit stiff but can bend up there so pretty much all the way up on itself with the wrist that'll twist around and hinge up and down for this hand specifically. Then we go to the ab crunch cutout so crunch forward, crunch back so pretty decent with the lower crunch there at the waist and twist around just a little. Then we go to the hips that can come up to 90 and out to the side can pretty much do the splits. Of course with those drop down hips gotta get them pushed back but then the thigh will twist all the way around the double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back and then he also has the ankle twist so it'll twist all the way around and then the foot will hinge back and forth and twist side to side. So he's got pretty decent range but works out like most of the other Joe figures so nothing really new or amazing going on there. Just has this classic design for Cobra Commander which I know a lot of people want but he comes with a number of accessories so first we get a set of fist hands so we get of course just a set of fists just in all black there and then we get a set of hands for extra stuff so we get a pointing hand so like commanding or yelling hand and then a hand so we can hold one of his accessories he comes with and for accessories first we get a knife so we have this knife with the black handle of the gold at the end of it and the silver blade obviously you can put this in his hands but he does have a sheet that sort of fell down his leg there but it is on his thigh that we can stick this in so there's the knife and the sheath there and then he does also come with a pistol but a weird looking pistol it's got this fat front on the end of it but it looks pretty cool with a little bit of red design on there and just a weird looking gun all around now obviously with this we can take and put this into his hand so cobra commander can have that gun now ready to fight now if we don't want him holding that we do have this back piece we can put on almost like a little backpack with the cobra logo on it there and it has the section that fits perfectly for the gun the gun will sit right in there so you can put that back there if, like I said if you don't want it in his hand and then finally he comes with the world snake so with the snake wrapped around the world there so that's pretty cool and that's what we get that extra hand for so that looks awesome I mean, we want to switch that out so there's Cobra Commander with the world snake so that all looks pretty cool just an awesome looking figure and of course the closest thing we have so far in the classified series is this version of Cobra Commander where he's got more of the lighter blue colors so that's about the closest but obviously having this one with that more classic design and of course it being a retro it's going to have that design this is definitely a cool version and probably the best version of Cobra Commander we will probably get so he just looks really cool going alongside his his tank there a part of Cobra what an awesome set of giving Cobra Commander along with the his tank of course a part of the big HasLab that came with the three figures and all the additional accessories that go along with it so overall this thing is really cool it's so awesome obviously it's pretty plain and basic like you know I thought there'd be more to it but I think it's pretty nice for what it is and it's a nice big thing obviously here with Cobra Command you can see just how big it is towering over him so it is a really awesome thing to have and I'm excited we got it to add to our collection so let me know what you thought of the Cobra His Tank down in the comments did you pick this up for yourself or do you regret missing out on it now let me know in the comments but if you enjoyed my review let me know with a thumbs up and I want to thank you all for watching I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review